And again, like I said, we still have the same patient. So, you know, I'm not gonna have to rewash and change gloves. It's up to you if you want to change gloves. Um, you could do a hand sanitizer in between, but it's the same patient. Okay. I'd like to go ahead and clean my bottle, even though I cleaned it once, I'm gonna clean it again. I'm going to draw up 0 0.5. When you check off, I will be telling you different amounts of medications to draw up. So let's not, um, I don't want you to get in the habit of always doing 0 0.5 because that won't be the case in the field, okay? So I'm pulling down again to 0 0.5. So those of you, I, you, in your notes, you know the first one I did intramuscular was at a 90 degree angle. I don't know if, we can't, don't know if I uh, mentioned that, but straight in like a dart, 90 degrees. This time, this injection is gonna go at a 45 degree angle and we use a 25 gauge needle. For our first intramuscular, we did 23 gauge. I'm remembering this stuff as I go along. <laughs> intramuscular injection, 90 degrees, 23 gauge, okay? Um, subcutaneous 25 gauge at 45 degrees and I did talk to you guys yesterday about how there are exceptions to the needle sizes it's not always written in stone that you're going to use those size needles got to look at our patient got to look at our route you know do a little bit of thinking on our own okay this one is almost a, I like to use my uh, deltoid muscle as a kind of a guide of where to get to my sub -Q. So again, chromium process is here. We came down two fingers and that's where we hit our deltoid. I like to just take my index finger and I'm gonna come back about the length of my finger and we're gonna inject right there at a diagonal from where a deltoid would be, the length Show of my again. finger. Show it again. Let me do it from another okay. video. Okay, we're gonna find the chromium process and I came down two fingers and where a band-aid is, there's where we did the intramuscular injection. So this time I'm gonna stay where that intramuscular would be and I'm gonna, I like to use my finger because it's about the perfect length that I need. And I'm gonna come right here and back here. This is where my finger laid, okay? So it's gonna be back here. We're, we're trying to get to that, that little fat part that everybody hates back here that we have, right? Not too far back. We don't want to be way, way back here behind somebody's arm. Okay. So we found our spot here. So I'm going to clean from the inside to the outside in a circular motion. To be honest with you, when I've had shots done, I can't tell the difference if someone's giving me a sub Q or an intramuscular. And I feel like that's the way it should be. Okay. So once the alcohol has had time to dry, last time we held the needle like this, like a dart. This time we're gonna put thumb on top, two fingers underneath, and we're gonna kind of lock our wrist at that 45 degree angle, okay? So I'm going to give counter pressure, go at 45 degrees straight in quickly, aspirate, inject. Notice my wrist is staying locked at 45 degrees. We don't wanna wander, let our, arm, our hand wander because you're tearing the patient's skin in there. If you wander up from a 45 to a 90 degree angle, um, that's painful for the patient. And also you're gonna be putting it in the wrong spot. How was that, sir? Outstanding. Didn't feel a thing. Perfect. Are you really crying with your head turned? <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, that's a marble video. Hey, there you go. It's 45 degrees, 25 gauge needle, with the exceptions of, that you have in your notes. I'm not going to go through every exception, okay? Um, so we're going to get rid of all, everything we don't need, keep clean with clean, dirty with dirty, following sterile techniques, okay?